welcome again to Scotty's Garage. This time we are actually going to get rid of the famous cowbell uh, horn on my motorcycle. It's not overly loud. It's 110 decibel, which is what you're allowed and you're supposed to be using. And I'm going to remove it. I also don't like the fact that it really kind of hides that motor. You know, not a huge amount, but just this little piece if you take this out. Plus, I eventually plan to take this coil and relocate it to where this is. It'll actually sit a little bit higher and have the coil here with the one wire going to this side and one wire going to this side, which will make it look a lot better in my book. But I picked up a much larger and louder horn for this motorcycle. Here's the horn that I bought for it. I a snail horn. Uh, different companies make them and everything. I like it. It, it. Like I said, just a little bit bigger. So I'm not putting it here. It is an option. You could put it here. I just think it's out of place there. run the wiring right here if you'll notice there's two little wires right here those two wires are going to be what connects to the horn on the relay the relay is actually going to be stuffed right here so that the wires come out right here hook up to the to the hot so the power goes straight to the relay the relay goes to the battery turned on the uh, the bike I do not have the ground wire hooked up everything else is hooked up I have the lead from the uh, battery to the fuse hooked up the wires are hooked up to the horn and everything uh, only thing that's left to do is this ground wire so we won't have a horn but we will be able to see and this is the relay right here click back and forth Let's see if we can get a good focus on it yep there it goes that uh, tells me the wiring is done right for the relay. Every time I push the button, it moves. So the horn will work once I get the ground wire attached to a proper place. Well, I'm about to officially drive the dogs crazy. Uh, they're right at the door. But got it all wired up. 
put together. Looks pretty good. You'll notice it doesn't look bad at all on the back of the bike. So I have the seat to put in, but a quick test. I'm just going to blip it because it's kind of late at night. Hey, Mr. McGee. How you doing? Can't work on the bike, car, anything without him running into running in here.